A Nova Scotia man has blended his nostalgia for the past with modern technology. He has created a community internet hub that's become the talk of his town. Jo John Tatry has that story. It's not hard to get Chad Lindsay into storytelling mode. This is Chad Lindsay with Sackville.Live. Sackville is a community steeped with tradition, ghost stories, and community activities. Today on CBC, join me for Cries at Kinsack Corner. Growing up in the community north of Halifax, he had a blast doing skits on local TV. The internet helped kill that channel and many other outlets for community pride. I was reminiscing a lot about the old days in Sackville. Um, there was uh, a lot of community newspapers. We had several Sackville community newspapers. We had, uh, you know, Sackville community television. And I was really thinking a lot about some of those old days. He decided to pick up his phone and create a new community hub with Sackville.Live. One of his biggest hits came on a whim after a friend asked him where a business was. Lindsay told him it was on Cobblequid Road which immediately reminded him of a Steve Earle classic. Riding home on the 80 in the middle of the night My belly is grumbling and I'm looking for a fight Got to get up to Green Gables before they close Chicken and taters on Cobbaquid Road Lindsay regales viewers with rant-like takes on vintage Sackville stories. When he got his hands on a book produced by Sackville Heights Junior High students in the late 1970s, he gathered friends to film the tale. Cries at Kinsack Corner collected spooky stories, including the devil's footprints. The tale goes, hundreds of years ago, the devil was supposed to have walked from the side of Rodden Road to Enfield. The tracks start at the side of the Rodden Road and go back through the woods to Grand Lake. How far is it to Enfield anyways? 26 kilometers. Oh, son of a... Lindsay says the greater Sackville community has embraced his take on community internet. Whether the content's good or whether the content's bad, the people know that this is made for them. This is made for you, the people that live in Sackville, Beaverbank, Lucasville, and Mount Uniac. He hopes to build a recording studio to create a true community station. It's the same old local pride with a modern twist. John Tatry, CBC News, Middle Sackville.